Welcome to my presentation on the citizenship GCSE as a year nine options. My name is Mr. Abbas and I'm head of the faculty for PSHCE. So I will be taking you through this presentation. OK, well, let's begin and start where I like to start, really asking some questions, the kind of questions that you might get on the course. Some of these questions might seem a little bit odd, like, for example, what does it mean to be a British citizen? It sounds pretty reasonable, right? Maybe it's when you get a passport or uh, when you arrive in the country. What does it mean to be a citizen? Uh, so what does the word citizen actually mean? What does it mean to you? What does it mean to be British? That's kind of a separate thing to being a citizen, or is it? Am I British if I'm Scottish? Or am I English if I live in Wales? Or how do we relate to the world? The Citizenship GCSE really looks at British citizens as and how they relate to the world and themselves. And it's not a simple thing. It's quite a complex relationship, which makes the subject very, very interesting, particularly those people who are interested in looking at British values and those things that make up us and our community. Other topics we explore are quite varied. So we look at the work of Parliament and how Parliament works, how bills are passed and how laws are made. We'll look at the economy and whether or not money is actually a real thing and how the economy functions and it's a relationship to politics. We'll also look at British society broadly, looking at jobs and housing and and the effect, effect of globalization and how corporations and earnings are affected by some of the decisions made by Parliament and the economy. Finally, we will look at the British media in all its glory and I try to understand what the role of the press is within a democracy. Now let's have a little chat about the exam. The exam is basically made up of two papers, paper one and paper two. The first paper has active citizenship and politics and participation. Now active citizenship is a unit that you actually have to do things in. So you actually have to have done something active as a citizen. And we make time for that on the course. And then you'll have to write about it in the exam. Paper two is a little bit more straightforward than that. You have section A, which is life in modern Britain, and section B, which is your rights and responsibilities. And as you can see here, it's assessed with equal weighting. So both paper one and paper two have 50% of the GCSE weighted with 80 marks each. And they are different types of questions. So there's multiple choice questions, short answer, source based questions and extended answer questions. So you've got to be good at different types of questions area. The two exam papers across four topics cover an hour and one hour 45 per paper. So they're not short papers and require you to take a little bit of focus and need to be good at reading and good at writing your point evidence evaluate question and answer paragraphs. Now, when do we study these two papers? Well, in year 10, we will mostly cover active citizenship and politics and participation, where by the end of year 10, you should have done your active citizenship project. Paper two, as you guessed, has probably been covered in year 11, and we'll go through life in modern Britain and rights and responsibilities, finishing across with quite a little bit of mock examining and finding out how we, how we are good at those things. Now, the subject itself can lead into lots of different careers. Because it's so broad and touches so many different areas, you've got careers as broad as journalism and sociology that you could go to. You could look at politicians. It gives an excellent basis for political understanding, become a civil servant, police officers and how the police works, actually an area of study for us, social workers, entrepreneurs would find this uh, GCSE very interesting mostly because it's it shows you how the country works like under the hood sort of thing we'll link it to our a levels and it does link very very nicely to our politics a level and our sociology a level the law psychology and philosophy a levels a little less so but a lot of the things that we cover here are also a good basis for those a levels well, thank you for listening, everybody. And if you have any more questions, don't hesitate to email me. Um, I'm Miss Rabbis. You can email me at aabbas at attleboroughacademy.org. And or you could just pop in your pop into HE3 and come and talk to me. 
Thank you for listening to my Citizenship GCSE introduction, and I hope you think of considering that when you take your options.